everybody, this is gonna be a video about the most common mistakes that people make when building the line follower app kit for the small robot. This is a tricky, tricky circuit, especially for beginners. So I'm gonna be covering all the wiring and common mistakes that people make. The connections on the shield bot and activity bot are for the most part identical and vary only slightly on the bow bot. Make sure you label your wire harnesses left, mid left, right, and mid right because it's when you when you go to connect these harnesses to the breadboard and to the actual QTI it'll make troubleshooting this a lot easier if something goes wrong for this specific application the white wire is going to be 5 volts and the red wire is going to be your signal line and your black wire is going to be ground this is a tricky circuit because usually the red wire is 5 volts and traditionally also the white wire is signal but in this circuit, the red wire is signal and the white is 5 volts. So your white wire is 5 volts, your red is signal, and the black wire is negative or ground. All four of these connections on all four of these wire harnesses, the red is going to be signal, the white is going to be 5 volts, and the black wire is going to be ground. One big trouble spot where people run into problems is when they're connecting their wire harnesses to the breadboard and creating this circuit here, this QTI circuit. And the instructions, they have you match the white wire from the, the harness that's leveled left with the mid left's harness white wire. Now it's time to connect your mid right wire harness and those are going to have matching ground wires. In other words, the black wire. Those are going to be sharing the same row. And then now when you go to connect your right wire, the right harness, the, the white wire is going to match up again. This is an area where people run into a lot of problems because often people relate red with 5 volts, but in this case, 5 volts is the white wire. Now if we look over here on the back side, the middle wire on all of these harnesses is going to be the easiest one to connect because all, these, all the red wires on all these harnesses, those are all your signal lines. And beginning from the right, from your right harness, that's going to be 4. Your mid right is going to go to pin 5. Your mid left is going to go to pin 6. And your left is going to go to pin 7. The left and the right of the shield bot, imagine as if you're driving a car. Your driver's seat is the left side of the car. The passenger would be the right. That would be the same orientation on the shield bot. Notice that your wire harness, when it connects to a QTI sensor on the bottom of your robot, that each QTI has a W, an R and a B. W is for white, the R is for red, and the B is for black. So that makes it easy to connect. So just match up the letter with the color and you'll be okay. When you first install your QTI sensors and the harnesses are not connected yet, they don't have to be in any specific order. The left could be in the right, the right could be in the left, or vice versa. However, once these are connected to pins four through seven up on top, you don't, you, you don't want to switch these anymore. That, that, the order will matter at that point. So this is going to be right, mid right, mid left, and left. So they're all going to, they're going to match up with the top side. So you're just bringing them down. This is going to be your right harness, and it's going to come down and match up with the right QTI on the bottom. One thing that people forget to include in, in, in their build are these small little plastic spacers here. Now you may think these are really small and don't make a difference, but they do. They make a huge difference. Uh, one thing you can do is to, to double check if that's what's causing it is turn your bot around, place it on the black line and just kind of tilt your robot forward a little bit. If, and if it starts to move or it starts to twitch, uh, that's a good indicator that you need to put this specific application is going to need those spacers. So once you're done building your circuit and you plug in your plug in your barrel jack, as soon as you put it on two, just kind of check around, check around the board, make sure nothing's getting hot, nothing is smoking. If you notice that the regulator here in the center is getting hot uh, or things start smoking, immediately turn it off. That means you have a short somewhere. And this this circuit lends itself to potential shorts. It's just the way it's built in its nature, uh, it's easy to make create a short. So just to recap, if you insert your barrel jack, place it in two, you start to realize that something's getting warm, 
or you see something smoking, you immediately turn it off and unplug the barrel jack. A quick check to make sure that you've connected your QTIs correctly is to plug in your barrel jack, put your shield bot on two, flip over the shield bot, and just place your two fingers. If you put it on the left side, if you put them over the left side, the left wheel should move. If you put your two fingers on the right side, the right wheel should move. If you don't have any, if you don't put your any of your fingers on any of the sensors, nothing should happen. The wheels should stay absolutely still. The bull bot will experience the same behavior. However, on the activity bot, when you remove your fingers from the activity bot's QTIs, the wheels will keep rolling until the opposite side picks up a new signal. If you notice that your shield bot is roll is going in the reverse direction or if it's spinning when it's not supposed to, check your servos, make sure they're centered and make sure that your your servos, your servo connections are correct. That you got your left servo going to pin 13 and your right servo going to pin 12. If you feel like you put together your circuit correctly, uh, another potential area to check are your batteries. Uh, change those out. With with breadboards these five sockets, one, two, three, four, five, those are all connected. Those are all be, can be considered one wire. So if I was to insert a wire here, and then I placed another wire here, those wires are connected. If I could theoretically run through this wire, I would come out of this side versus if I took this wire, placed it on the next row over, if I ran through there, I would hit a wall. This, here, and here, not connected at all, not related. But as soon as I do something like this, now they're sharing the same row, they're connected. Whenever you're done with the shield bot for the day, just make sure you're unplug it because just simply put it on position zero. Won't, won't turn off the Arduino on the bottom. It'll turn off the board, but not the Arduino. And as soon as you come in the next day, you might have drained batteries. For more information on the line following application, visit the links below.